It's time now for a little feature that we call Tomorrow's Tech Today, because tech moves at lightning speed. I love to go past the headlines to tell you where the future is headed. This week, we're going to start with what's coming next for cargo transportation. See, there's this concept called the Gruco Vicas. It's billed as the all-electric freight liner of the future. It's probably not like anything that you've seen before. Um, it kind of maybe looks like a standard semi-truck in that it has four wheels. After that, nothing looks familiar. Up front, there's not even anything that looks like a cockpit, and there's a reason for that because there isn't one. Instead, you have this tall, slim housing and an OLED panel that contains all the truck's computers, sensors, cameras, radars. Um, it looks like a giant L on wheels, and this intelligent all-electric freight liner doesn't need anybody to drive it on board or controlling it remotely. Artificial intelligence is behind this concept of the future, and they say it could make changes on the fly about traffic, pedestrians, but the big question is, will this semi still blow the horn if you do the air pump? Eh. All right, moving on. There's another concept car out there that's ditching the steering wheel, but in a different way. Hyundai. It was supposed to be making an appearance at the Geneva Motor Show, but that's one of the many events that was canceled over the coronavirus. So it's made its debut online. It's the Hyundai Prophecy. It's a pretty slick looking, but there's really not much else that sets it out from say other futuristic EV concepts. Now from a distance, you might even think it's a Tesla or maybe even a Porsche. But inside, there's something that truly sets it apart. And it's not the plaid seats. Look at the driver's seat. When you do where there was a steering wheel, there's no more steering wheel. It was replaced by, get this, joysticks. That's right, two of them. One on either side of the seat, on the door, and in the center console. Now, according to Hyundai, the Prophecy concept offers a, quote, completely new yet reassuringly familiar intuitive driving experience. Gosh, how'd you like to be the marketing person that has to come up with that? So if you're rusty at playing video games, you better get to practicing unless you want your kids to drive you everywhere. And moving on to folding phones, Samsung finally released the troubled Galaxy Fold, and they followed it up with the Galaxy Fold Z, which along with the resurrected Motorola Razr R, they look like the flip phones of days long gone, but, you know, kind of totally underwhelming. But now there's something from TCL. And you might know this Chinese company from their 4K TVs, but they also make smartphones. And it looks like a run-of-the-mill smartphone, but you press a button and a motorized section slides out from side to side. The screen unrolls kind of like a scroll, and then it stretches into what basically becomes a small tablet. It doesn't fold in half like other phones, so there's no risk of putting a crease on the screen. Uh, TCL was going to show this off during the Mobile World Congress, which was also canceled over coronavirus. Um, the company also had another prototype for a trifold phone that debuted at CES back in January. These are pretty cool ideas, but just remember, these are concept phones like concept cars. They might never go into production, but the world will phone really is in the cards. And hopefully TCL is using the Galaxy as a cautionary tale, just waiting to get something right before releasing it. Because I guess Samsung isn't as flexible. Huh. Okay, we've got smart homes, smart cars, smartphones smart wearables, and now we have smart clothes. The, some of them come from Google's Project Jacquard technology, like Smart Levi Jeans Jacket, which was released in 2017. Project Jacquard is back and working with Adidas because they have new smart insoles for your shoes. They're called Adidas Gamer. This is really something. The insoles are equipped with an accelerometer, a gyroscope, and other tech because it's all designed to track your soccer skills. And if soccer is your thing, they're called gamers for another reason. This is pretty innovative. Adidas created the tech along with EA Sports. So while the insoles are tracking your real life kicks, speed, and other metrics, the data is being fed into a video game. So complete enough challenges or milestones, and you earn rewards in the uh, mobile game for iOS or Android. So in essence, you have to play real soccer to level up in the soccer video game. Now, if you're not much of a gamer, there's a separate app that just tracks your stats. Um, but it's not expensive. You can pick it up for about 35 bucks. Just don't forget to charge your insoles before the next big match. That would be a bummer.